In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add gradient to text in Adobe InDesign. If you don't already have Adobe InDesign, you can get it by clicking the link down in the description. So as you can see, we have a text right here. And let's say that I want to add a gradient to this. We can actually do that really simple. So the first thing you want to do is to actually go over to the left side of the screen and choose the type tool. And then just select the text we would like to create a gradient of right here. From here, we want to go over to the gradient panel. And if you cannot see this, you can actually find it up in window, going down to color and choose gradient right here. And here you actually just want to click on this gradient. And as you can see, if we just select the selection tool right here, we actually have a gradient on our text. But how do we actually add a specific color to this gradient? We can do that by again, selecting the type tool, selecting our text. And if we just try to take our gradient panel right here, we can see that we have two colors right now. So we have a white right here and a black. And if we want to change the color, we can actually just select the first one right here by clicking on it, then going up in the top bar and choose the fill. And you want to double click on this and you will get the color picker. And you can just choose any color you would like. So I'll just be choosing a blue color right here. And as you can see, we have now changed this color to blue. And we can do the same with this color in the other side. So select this, go up to the fill, and let's just choose a not a color, this light blue right here. And if we now go out, we can see our gradient. And you can actually also change the type of the gradient right here, if you wanted radial instead. And you can also choose just the line area. And the same with the angle. So if you want to change the angle of the gradient, you can also do that right here. So yeah, that's actually how to add a gradient to text in Adobe InDesign. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'll see you in the next one.